Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of React Native. So today we are going to learn about the orientation locker example. So currently you can see that is locked is true means that orientation is locked. If I go and reverse this one, okay. So it's landscape left. So I'm going to lock lock me to the portrait. Okay, so it's portrait now. Lock me to the upside down. So you can see that it rotates. If lock me to the landscape, so it go to the landscape, right? And lock me to the unlock all the orientations. So it come back to this original. So you can see that is locked is false. If I go through lock me to the portrait, it's gonna be true. Okay. And that device orientation is false. Lock me to the portrait again. And then I go with upside down. It's to be portrait. Right. And lock to the landscape. Landscape right. If I go and just, you can see that if I orientate this with the different, different, uh, different, different ways, you can see that different, different ways it will go back to this orientation. So I'm going to like unlock all orientations and this one, right? So how we are going to implement such kind of things in the React Native? Okay. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. I think somewhere you require this kind of stuff so you can use this package of NPM to implement your all needs that required for this one, right? So let's have a look what things which I have done. I will show you showcase all the things. Okay. And which package I'm using, I will showcase. So let's get started. So the package name is React Native Orientation Locker. Okay, eight months ago and the downloads are pretty much good. Okay, so React Native module that can listen to the orientation changing of a device and get current orientation. So you can here you can also get the which orientation we have already enabled. So you can get the current orientation also on the same time and you can change listen to the event whenever there is a change in the orientation. So lock screen orientation will be the portrait, landscape left, portrait upside, landscape right. Listen on orientation change of a device and get the current orientation of a device. So whenever we switch to the any of the orientation, you will get the orientation and you can add the check over to it. Okay. So let's go to the code level we have. So let's draw. If you are on the latest version, no need to do anything. <clears throat> no, nothing we have to do. Okay, just need to install the package and there we have orientations locker. There are different types of orientation. Let's go there. We have a locker portrait landscape. Let's move to the further. You can see that here we have orientation locker with the orientation portrait and orientation landscape. If you want to add it, you can add this one. Okay. And uh, functions lock to the portrait, lock to the landscape, lo lock to the landscape left. That will lock to the camera left home button right. So these are the functions that we can use into our project to go with the orientations and orientations can return of the portrait landscape. So if you are adding this kind of things and this will return that one. Okay. Face up, face down. Okay. So let's go to the code level. So here we have orientation locker, orientation, orientation lock, change and use lock listener. So let's go to the code level. So here we have first that is orientation locker example. Then we have is whether it is locked or unlocked. So here is a function that do the things. Okay. And when we click on the block me to the portrait upside down. Okay. So what function they are using lock to the portrait up and side down. Okay. So you can see that this function you can use lock to the landscape, right? Unlock all orientation. So these are the functions that can use into your app.js file and they can lock to the this one, lock to the landscape. Okay. Then we have a lock to the landscape, right? And uh, unlock all orientations. Okay. So these all functions are over here. So what the parameters they are taking up, you can take the parameters and do the rest of the process into it. Okay. Very easy, very simple. This touchability activity on press orientation dot unlock this one checked locked okay this is a function whether it is orientation is locked unlocked then we are setting the values to be locked or unlocked right very simple module any doubt any query in that just let me know in the comment section okay thank you so much for watching this video have a great day don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day